Hello everybody, uh, today uh, it's, uh, we are back for our first interview back in the, in the greenhouse so that's nice to, uh, to be here with the growers and uh, in the middle of the plants. So today uh, I'm blessed to have um, Ronald Valentin with me. He's uh, Director of Technical Business for BCAs at uh, BioWorks. So hello Ronald, how are you today? I'm doing good Sebastian, thanks for inviting me here. Oh, that, that's good to have you. Um, so, um, uh, Ronald, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your background and what you're doing at uh, BioWorks uh, right now? And uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about about you. Okay, uh, so my background is uh, I was born in the greenhouse industry in the Netherlands, and my uh, um, father um, uh, in the late '60s, early '70s was. Uh, <clears throat> struggling with uh, pest control in his cucumber and tomato crop and he started using biological control in 1971. So I've been very fortunate to kind of grow up with uh, the use of uh, biological control and it had so much of my interest that I uh, decided to make my career out of it. Um, and um, um, yeah, uh, after working in Europe first for a number of years, uh, in uh, 19. 94, 1995, I started to travel to North America, uh, to Canada, and uh, in 1997, I made the step to uh, move to Canada, and since then, work in both Canada and the U.S. Okay, that's that's nice to talk with somebody who has so much expertise in uh, in the BCA uh, and uh, and all the application of BCAs and greenhouses. So, uh, Ronald, uh, today we decided to talk uh, about, like the topic of the day will be uh, starting early, uh, uh, implementing uh, BCA planning and, and everything early in the crop to, to make sure that you don't get catch up with pests in the greenhouse. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit uh, the kind of strategy you're implementing with your growers and the way, the way you manage it? I think if you look at biological control, what is really, really important is to um, uh, start clean. And that has actually several meanings. Cleaning, a, a clean, starting clean is not just about uh, uh, thinking about uh, insects and mites and, and disease, but also uh, uh, very important what kind of residues of, of traditional pesticides are on the cuttings or on the young plants. Uh, we've learned that the hard way uh, many years ago in the vegetable industry uh, and uh, also in the last years we've seen that also in, uh, in the ornamental industry as well. Um, starting clean is so important because if you think about how pests develop, uh, I'm just using this as an example, uh, thrips, uh, western flower thrips on a, on a cucumber crop uh, in a matter of two months, 60 days. Uh, one female thrips will result into about 5,800 thrips. And um, once you get to that point, it is really hard to control that population, whether you're trying to do that with um, biological control or traditional chemistries, it's almost impossible to, tr to stop that, uh, to stop that uh, development. So it is very, very critical to start early, as early as you possibly can. I think right now, if we're looking at the time of the year um, where you see this greenhouse behind us is emptying out pretty good. Uh, in the ornamental industry, we're right at the, the cuff of um, uh, growers starting their mum cuttings, uh, chrysanthemums, um, and next month also poinsettias are starting. And you know, when those cuttings come in, um, to try to reduce risk, um, uh, dipping those cuttings into solutions with, uh, with nematodes. Uh, Bovaria bassiana, uh, Botanigard, and, and Root Shield um, can really reduce uh, risks uh, right out of the gate. Um, and you know, in some cases, people do that with the unrooted cuttings and repeat that a few weeks later with the rooted cuttings as well. And then uh, I have one of those sachets in my hands here too. Uh, you know, using uh, one of those sachets right on the on the pluck trays. Uh, right out of the gate to try to establish the population of predatory mites right out of the gate is, uh, is a really good, uh, good strategy as well. Um, I think one thing that is also important is uh, that we need to uh, realize that um, uh, pesticide residues can have an effect 
um, that we don't always know what is on the cuttings or on the plant material that comes in through the door. And I think it's really important to ask those questions. Um, uh, more and more we see that uh, the cutting producers and the young plant producers are um, uh, more IPM friendly and working themselves with an IPM approach as well. Um, but occasionally we still are sometimes struggling with getting populations of uh, BCAs established due to residues that are on the cutting. Can I just add something from my experience on the, on the Poncidias? Is that most of the time you're growing your uh, cuttings under tents with uh, high humidity and high, like, high temperature with uh, uh, heat under the bed, the beddings and everything. And uh, what happens sometimes is that you got a big development of uh, fungus gnats and the larvae of the fungus gnats are feeding on the roots at the exact period when you want to build the roots of your crops. And I think when you, like, what I try to do is uh, every, like, every watering or every over watering using nematodes with the water yeah. to prevent the development of fungus gnats because that's a really uh, favorable uh, environment for, for them and, and if you if you can keep it clean then your plant is, is healthier because of you no know, like healthier roots and uh, healthier plants and then they start faster and, and and I think that's that's really important at the very beginning of the of the crops. Yeah. Well and in addition to that I think another uh, another two very good tools in the toolbox to try to start to establish right out of the gate is uh, stretchy or laylaps, um, predatory mite for fungus net larva. Um, and uh, Delothia, formerly called uh, Athida, a uh, roof beetle that also helps with uh, shore fly and, uh, uh, and fungus net control as well. And if you do that in the propagation stage um, at the correct rate, uh, typically if you uh, transplant into the final pot, uh, it is a good idea to repeat that application, but you would do that at half rate. So uh, starting again, starting early, Building that population up uh, right from the from the get-go uh, is really uh, the best way to go. Biological control is really not designed to fix problems. It's really designed to avoid problem problems from happening. Um, it's really a proactive approach. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Ronald, for uh, all those tips about growing uh, crops and starting clean. Uh, I also wanted to give a big thank you to Orchard Park because they uh, allowed us to do this interview in, in here in the, in the greenhouse and um, yeah uh, if, uh, if some people want to uh, reach you uh, how, what is the best way uh, can you give us like uh, an email or uh... yes my email address is rvalentin at bioworksinc.com um, so I don't know if you could post that as well. Yeah, well, well I will write it at the end of the video uh, yep. so that everybody can take notes about that. So, okay, thank you very much, Roald, and uh, maybe see you on another interview uh, really soon. Okay, thanks, Bye -bye. Sebastian. Thanks for having me.